Hello. In this video, we will look at some questions and programs that are typically asked on making pie chart in Python. To create pie chart, we use pyplot module in matplotlib library. First question is, what is matplotlib? Matplotlib is a library for creating static, animated, and interactive 2D visualizations in Python. Using this library, we can create many visual elements like charts, graphs, maps, which help in data analysis like finding patterns, trends, etc. Now this library is huge. Within matplotlib, we have pyplot module, which is a collection of methods which allows users to construct 2D plots easily and interactively. It is similar to MathWorks MATLAB software. What is a pie chart? Pie chart is a graph in which a circle is divided into sectors, each representing a proportion of some total value. The questions on pie chart have different formatting options like adding labels, percentages, or exploding the graph. So let's look at this question and see how we can answer it. The first question is where you have a table of grades and number of students which scored that grade in the class. As you see, we have to add labels, percentages, and also explode the graph. So let's see how we will answer this. First thing which you need to do when you are using pyplot is to import it in your program. So we will do that first. Now let's look at the syntax of making pie chart. If you see this, at a minimum, it needs a sequence of numbers which you can plot. So in our program, we will add the sequence of student data and pass it to the pie function. After you call pie, you need to call show function which is needed to display the pie chart to us. Let's run the program with these command and you see a basic chart is in place. Now we need to start formatting it as per the question. First thing missing is labels. If we go back to syntax, we see it takes in another sequence for labels. So we will create a list of labels and add it to the pi command. Next we need to explode the one which has the maximum grade. If I see student data, C has the maximum grade. Also note that C is at the third position. The pi function takes in a sequence for explode too. But what do we put in this sequence? It expects a sequence of zeros of same length as data with distance and decimal at the slice which we want to explode. So we will add this sequence too to the pi function. Next we have to put in percentages. Python calculates the percentage on its own so you do not have to worry about doing any maths here. Only thing you need to specify is the format in which the percentage will appear in the autopicity argument. Let's look at kind of data it is expecting here. Autopicity expects a special string and the format of it begins with the percent sign which shows that it is a special string. So we will first put that. Next it takes number of digits you want before decimal point which typically is 2. Then we put a decimal point and give number of digits we want after decimal. In our case it is 1 so we will put 1 here. Next is type which is D for integer and F for float. Since we have to show decimal I will put F. Lastly if we want person sign to appear on the screen I will have to add a percent here. Since single percent is a special character, we need to put in 2. Now if I run this, I will see the graph as per the question. In addition to this, the question could also ask for specific colors for the chart. Here we can create another sequence of colors of the same size as student data and put in the colors requested. Then we can add it to the pi function as argument to colors. In a pie chart, you can add more chart elements such as title, legends, etc. 
we will cover them along with the other charts we will learn as they are common for all type of charts if you want to solve more problems like this you can visit my website for more python programs to practice on good luck Thank you.